myself. All right, let's keep going. We're going to go Archer. Archer Chan. All right, so unfortunately, I did not get a new item in here. Uh, yeah, the, hold on. Attack speed up by 20. Pick up range. Movement speed. Put movement speed. Block strength. Give me the health capacity. All right, let's go. And uh, let's refund all this. Uh, defense up fire damage, regen, maximum health. Give me more. Uh, let's see. Give me all the base. Pick up range. Some movement speed. And we'll go. It begins. Did, yeah. At least you're not one of those people who got, like, suckered. Not only. Okay, so PS5 is fine, right? Like, yeah, fine. It's fine. But getting PSVR 2. What a disaster. Holy crap, dude. Hold on. What do I get? 10 damage? Attack speed? I'll take attack speed. What if I just fire a million arrows per second? What the hell? Completed. Increase your movement speed to 8. Oh, this is it with an upgrade? What the hell's happening? Crit chance, duration, movement speed. Crit chance. My movement speed is going to be high already. Like, I didn't get the PSVR 1 because, well, I already had the Oculus Quest 1. I already had the HTC Vive. I already got the Index. But, like, I was interested to see what they were going to do with the PSVR 2. And besides it being a pretty, like, decent upgrade in terms of, like, hardware and no quality of life, unfortunately, it still suffered for the most important thing, which is the software. The fucking software. And it was expensive. Like, there's hardly anything worth playing because, like, a lot of that stuff is... Yeah, you have some exclusives, like the Call of the, the Horizon stuff, but that was, like, a... I heard that was a climbing simulator. <laughs> And a lot of it was just like a crap you can get on like PC already and everything. <sighs> so I'm glad I didn't buy into that. Jesus. It just sucks, you know? People do like VR is interesting. It's just not many people are working on it. And you know, I like it a lot, but it's just not, I don't know, man. It's gonna die out. <sighs> I, I hope I'm wrong, but it's just, I feel like it's gonna die out. Universal heads will be crazy. Be, oh, did I pick up the hand? Oh, it was a, it was a hand inside of a 10% more damage. Dude, I feel very strong already. Archer. Yeah, let's go. Man, I really want to beat a run, man. Maybe that's how you unlock the other characters. Maybe you got to complete uh, like this level and then complete the other level. Because I already got three characters. Yeah. Are you ready for the summer? Yeah, where are all the enemies? Apple AR? You know, I really wish we got the Google glasses. The Google AR glasses. You have a HUD. You have a HUD around you all day. That would be so sick. I don't know if they ever did anything with that. I never, like, kept up with it. 3K? Motherfuckers. I mean, okay, you know what? It can be as expensive as it wants. You just gotta justify the price. And that's gonna be hard to do, but what if they did something insanely crazy with it? Sure. <laughs> so stupid. But, it, you know, if, if it's worth it, price it any, anything you want. It just gotta be worth it. Jesus. Daemon? No. Uh, has amazing perspective on how to division future AR. So what, what is that? What's the on? Is that an article or a website or something that... Let's see. Critical. Hit chance. Okay, we're going crit with this guy then. Crit and movement speed. That's all we're doing. I don't know why, but I, I think I really like this more than Vampire Survivors. I feel like Vampire Survivors has done pretty much almost all they can do in terms of, like, the in-game engine and stuff. It's like, you know... What, what? Like, this game has more potential. I feel like... Like, what the hell did they do with the with vampires? They added, like, a bunch of characters who do the same damn thing. Uh, they added, like, a tarot card and shit. This is nice. Oh, kill this bitch. Oh, we're doing so much damage. I think that's the problem I'm having with a lot of these runs. I just need to increase my damage. If I can't kill things, I'm not going to make it. I keep increasing, like, movement speed and, and defense. Like, just don't get hit. Like, do you, like, is defense even a good build? 
just don't get hit. It doesn't matter how long you survive if you don't damage them, right? I don't know. Maybe we, we just need to unlock more equipment and maybe better like traits to see like how good a build. Like maybe there's a thorns build. That'd be OP. That'd be pretty cool. I would like that. It's fiction book. Crazy scenarios, AR. That would be cool. Ring of blades, lightning. Give me lightning. Game on. No. Uh, hold on. Duration, attack speed for phantom needles. Movement speed, health regen. We don't need the range up. I need piercing up. Maybe that's a trait you unlock. Have you seen that thing going, like, being, like, recommended a lot lately? People have been talking about it. The new Doom custom map, myhouse.wap.wap. <laughs> I watched a whole two hour long video of some guy going through it and explaining and talking about it. It's sweet. Really, it looks interesting. Base crit chance. Yeah, it's cool. It's a random recommended video. Some guy, like obviously it's all fictional, but some guy did like some, like he worked on a new map and he had been in the works for like many, many, many years. And they finally came out and they have this long story along with it. Like, oh yeah, my friend died and we used to make maps together and I'm making, I'm completing the map for him, blah, blah, blah. And then it tends up being like a really crazy and haunting sort of map where it seemingly does a lot of um, like in-game engine mechanics that you can just cannot do within the Doom engine crater and stuff like that. You should watch the video. It's just called like, uh, I played the most scariest Doom map or whatever. It's like a two hour long, one hour, 50 minutes. It's a really nice watch. I highly recommend checking it out. I, I thought I was gonna hate it. Like, okay, I don't play Doom. I don't, I don't make maps, but then you know, just the fun enthralling story around there and a lot of theoreticals on why this was made this way, that way. And then they go with more in depth of like, okay, this is not, you know, you can't do this in Doom. How do they do this? You know, and then, they, and then they go over like, oh, this is the, this is the post that they made, you know, explaining the game's existence and like the story wrapped around it. It's fun. It's a good time. Dude, dude. Fuck you. It was interesting too because after I finished watching that video, one of my streamers I was watching decided to play it themselves, like without knowing much about it. So it was really cool watching them go through like this map that I knew a lot of, a lot about already. And then they couldn't figure out how to beat it, so then they watched the video on stream. So I rewatched it twice. Uh, attack speed, lightning. And I feel like the abilities are very, very second to second banana to your base weapon. Like I don't know. Okay, let's grab an item. What is the video? Oh yeah, it's called, uh, right, let's actually look it up. Here, I'll, I'll do it. It's, a, it's such a cool video. I watched it twice. <laughs> one with myself and one with the streamer, right? Okay, so, uh, Doom WAP, uh, my house, dot one. This, it's, a uh, this one. Is it this one? This one. My house dot w a d inside Doom's most terrifying mod. Here, I'll just put it in the So yeah, I watched this video. It's a very very well made video. It's nice. Okay. Anyway, let's see what's here. Oh, my controller. Okay. Seven percent damage. I can't. Dude, when you put the mouse back on the screen, your controller. Okay. Twelve percent more capacity. Some defense. Deal 4% additional damage for each burning enemy limited to 60. What does this mean? Does this mean I do extra damage to burning enemies or every time an enemy is burning, I do extra damage? It's a little weird. I think uh, downloading. <laughs> downloading. Downloading which one? What do I want? I think I'm going to take the hood. Okay, this is actually really good. Actually, uh, I'm going to take this. So I, the exterminator will be great. They do more damage for enemies who happen to be on fire. Additional damage for each burning enemy. Limited to 60. You see, it's like one of those two. But either way, it's, it's still going to be good. Either way. So I'm going to take it. So it's not good on my character. I don't have the uh, burning ability yet. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it up in the well so it's available in future runs. And we'll try it on the exterminator because I think that's a very, very big buff for him. That's like an amazing buff. Burning build. Alright, well, I'm running towards the well. It's probably going to be like 10,000 bucks to buy though. God dang. I need money, dog. Let's see what my crit rate is right now though. 30% and 160 damage. That's good. <laughs> my range is buffed. Damage is nice. Piercing. My piercing needs to be upgraded. Four is like not, not good for late game. Okay. Let's go. Uh, so right towards the well. Because we don't want to die accidentally and miss the item. There it is. So you, you like bring it back up but you lose it. For the run. But that's okay because we're not really using it. What the hell did I pick up? Duration, health regen, base, block strength. Give me a little bit of defense, I guess. Man, I, I don't know what this... Berserker's Rage, 100% attack speed. There's no way to see that, just on controller. I have two of them? Why do I have two of them? I have to hover over it. Man, this game's sick, though. Yeah, let's go! Yeah, we might end up playing this all day instead of trying out system shock. <laughs> I like it. Once again, it's not—it's nothing new. It's the survivor's genre, but the look is great, and I like the mechanics. I like the meta gaming. Cone size—that does not affect my item, my weapon, does it? I don't think so. I'll take the movement speed. It's like a triple A survivor. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, yourself and I have been talking, you know, we, we talk about some survivor games and a lot of them are simply there to try to make a quick buck, you know? They abandoned it in early access. It's just crap overall. This one seems to be one of the better ones that I've tried and it has potential to be really good. And I think a lot of people agree with me because if you look on the Steam page, it is very very highly rated a uh, thousand plus reviews and overwhelmingly positive and though we've only been playing for about two hours on this game I, I i like it a lot so that's good it's a good sign we're right towards the hand over here this is this hand is the collector one so any gem i left on the ground i get to pick up right away it's good for leveling i guess Like, I don't think I can play Vampire Survivors anymore. It's just, like, not some, like, uh, block sh what the hell, dude? Guess I get the health? I don't know. It's cool and all. I download the soundtrack. I use it in the videos. I don't know. There's just so many, like, new Survivor types of games you can try out. Like, I am interested in trying out Soul Survivors. Am I not going to level off this? Regen, movement speed, pickup range, movement speed, and health. Okay, this was really good. Good health upgrade. Alright, be cool. Movement speed, crit. Okay, 10% additional chance. Attack chance. Uh, that's really good. Oh, 10%. Oh, no. Give me the multi hit. So, I don't know how multi hit works in this game. Look at this. So, this got upgraded from two. And so, instead of shooting two arrows, I now shoot 2.2 arrows. And the way that they describe it here is instead of okay, every attack, I hit two, but now every four to five attacks, it's just one extra. So I'll do three every four to five attacks. That's how it works in this game. It's kind of cool. That's one way to implement uh, like decimal points, I guess. Range, give me the crit damage bonus. Oh yeah, see, I shot three. That's pretty good. Look at all the crap. Oh my god. Uh, oh, 30% more damage. Nice. Yeah. Microsoft let me down, not getting activated purchase before D4 launch, inclusion Game Pass. Do you think they would actually put that in Game Pass? Hell no. They know people will buy that. It is a nice, uh, fun sentiment, though, but. Crazy. 
It was really surprising during Memorial Weekend, right? I didn't stream, I just played games. Like, I was looking through all the PlayStation, because, like, I was trying to make, you know, more use just out of the PlayStation. So I um, opened up my PlayStation Plus, you know, games. There's a lot, man. There's a lot of games. And I'm so glad I ended up, like, trying out, like, Frostpunk on there. Like I mentioned, I played that for a couple hours. That was good. And I downloaded City Skylines, still playing that. I don't know. <laughs> I suck at that game, but it's fun looking at my city. But yeah, playing like a bunch of RPGs that are on there. Like, it's great. Like, after I finish Ease 8, I'll do Ease 9. And then they also have Dragon Quest, what is it, 10 or 11, the latest one on there. It's great. Uh, I just don't know if I'm going to make content out of it. But once again, you know, I could make a Let's Play or a review. Or I could just sit there and play like I used to do 10 years ago. Content creation is such a curse, man. I can't, just can't enjoy games sometimes. Missed opportunities! Oh, this one. What's my crit? 35% uh, crit chance. It's amazing. Orbs, Dragon's Breath. Uh, Dragon's Breath. Burning! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I know Street Fighter comes out on June 1st, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we can, like, that's the time I stream. We can play it. I just don't know when Diablo comes out. Like, I know it's June 1st as well, or June 2nd, right? But what time exactly? That's what I need to know. Regen. Starfield Game Pass Day 1. I would, I hope so. Jesus. Uh, 4 p.m.? That's sick. That means we can do three hours of, of, of uh, Street Fighter before. Oh my god, that's gonna be a great day. Thursday, right? Thursday? Yeah, well, I think we'll do um, just all um, Street Fighter World Tour. Yeah. That's good. That's so good. Three hours of gaming before. Nice. Da -da -da -da. Okay, uh... Crap, here we go. It's starting to get crazy again. I hope I have enough damage to deal with this. I want more projectiles. So I want to increase my multi-shot. Oh, crap. I like how you can point in the direction in this game, too. Like, it just adds more involvement. Like, the, the Vampire Survivors genre is all about autoing. And this is a little bit of auto, if you want. But there's also control. You can have a little control. Maybe this will be the Diablo Online only launch that succeeds in one. <sighs> oh, man. I mean, you know, a lot of people are rating it high. A lot of people who got it early. But then again, they're playing without the crazy, gigantic uh, server load. <laughs> I think it's going to... Oh man, I, I remember getting into the beta was insane. Like, like if you didn't get in early, you'd have to wait like 40 minutes into an hour. I remember we did that for one of the beta days. Who knows how long it'll be when it's fully launched. Or maybe they will have learned and they got more servers. I doubt it. I mean, sometimes you have to wait to get into Hearthstone, the card game. I, I don't play Hearthstone, but I play Battlegrounds. Sometimes you have to wait for that. Taking that metabolism, I think it gives you five. Really? I did it by accident? I mean, without knowing? Sweet. That's cool. Cleric. All right, that sounds cool. I'm down. If it's unlocked, I'll play it right away. In beta, you can feel the pauses. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so stupid. But that's the future. It's the future. Ugh. It was so laggy. I felt like I was playing Ragnarok online with all the rollback. Old school Ragnarok. I haven't got five yet. Oh, crap. So I gotta go. I just gotta run around and keep picking him up. Okay. <gasps> Damage. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's go get more. More. More items. I'll just keep going in a circle then. It's probably our best bet anyway. Like what I should be doing in general. That's how you get more money, right? 
Do, 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 do. Ooh, yeah, look at all the crap I left on the ground. Mm, okay, 20% attack speed. Oh, boost time. Mini boost. Okay, just keep shooting his direction. Ooh, give me this, though. Ooh, healing, healing. Oh, crap! Okay, we coo, we coo. Oh, he's almost dead. This is the strongest we've been, I think, at this point. Perhaps? I don't know. Ooh. Man, imagine if I had that burning crown on now. Nice. Alright, homie. So, whatever item we get, it's going to be a temporary, unfortunately. Because we can't weld it up. We already weld an item. Uh, too many games look like mimicking Destiny. It did! It did! So many games I looked at, I didn't even bother paying attention because I thought it was Destiny. And then it ended up being an IP that's just an announcement video. And then Destiny finally came up! 1% <laughs> uh, attack speed for each enemy killed within 5 seconds. That's really nice. Probably get that. Each burning enemy. Oh. We already got that. Okay, give me the wind crown. Okay, that's like that looks like a gigantic upgrade for us. Look at the percentage, you can see it above my camera, right? Yeah. Uh cone size. I don't know what's better here. Uh Phantom Needles upgrade? I guess it is fine and all. I'm just so sick of seeing it and hearing about it. But that's only the, I guess that's a testament to how popular and well it's doing. Like I don't play it anymore. I only played Destiny 1 for like two weeks, and then when Destiny 2 came out, I played it for like a week. I know my like one of my best friends continues to play it almost every single day. I don't know. Give me this one. Dragon's Dogma was uh, was the release of EA Dragon Age. Oh, yeah, dude. It, it's cool that when they announced that, it was literally like, okay, before we do anything, we're going to drop the title. Like here, it, guys, it's Dragon Age. Here it is. It's Dragon Age. Check it out. And then they showed off some gameplay and stuff. The first game was neat. I don't know if it holds up. Because I haven't played it for 10 years plus. But I liked it. It was it was cool. This one looks like a Dragon Age game, yeah. Ooh, we just level 30. Crit chance. Crit chance bonus. I think we want the chance. The chance is like very, very high damaging. Okay, how are we? 13 minutes? 14 minutes? We can do this? Oh yeah, the pawns. I remember, yeah, I remember playing on 360, but I played it like a little bit after, like it was popular and everyone played it, but I still had friends who I guess you can, like, if it, like, I don't know how it works, but you can still grab their friends and they were like super strong and I'm like, oh, I don't want to hire your guys' as friends. It's kind of OP. So I ended up making my own, but it, like, I remember seeing my friends' characters. They were crazy. Ah. Hundred friends, your Steam friends are because <laughs> that's all funny. Oh, did, did they have to be your friends? Friends like IRL? I mean, uh, Steam friends. That's cool. I don't even know what to get here. Do I want this? I don't know how good range is with this. Oh, range might work with my fire ability. Now that I think about it, does it show? Well, it doesn't show here. Oh, look at this. Every 10 attacks, or 9 to 10, an extra flame dragon breath of hell. Mm, multi hit so good. Okay. I hope this is the run we finally make it. I'm gonna say no, but. Try. Nice. Nose is getting itchy. This is a really nice quality of life where uh like I, i'm pointing anywhere i want but if i let go to scratch my eyes or something it'll it'll just auto point <laughs> that's good that is like i don't know it just makes everything better god this fire wave is amazing <laughs> yeah because 
like uh like we played a good amount right of survivor games but i think this is one of them where it's like yeah it has the auto tag plus control if you want like vampire survivors is primarily just auto and you have to position your character to attack the way you want like if you only hit a horizontal oh you hopefully you better move your character like this to hit them right and then some character some some other games we played are only manual which gets a little old I i'm increasing my phantom needles holy shit okay hold on people all right all right, all right. i need to collect more uh consumables Tax speed so high. Oh, mini boss. Defense, crit bonus. Well, there you go. I'm in trouble. Ooh, fire wave. <gasps> ah. Yeah, I think it's like four or five bucks right now. It's great. Yeah, where'd he go? I gotta tie my my fire. Oh my god. Health regen, more health. Additional flame walls. Ability. Okay, flame walls are so good. Oh, look at the flame wall! All right, all right, all right, all right. Pointing it, pointing it. Fire! Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so good with controller, too. It's like... I don't see myself playing this with keyboard and mouse. Oh, this guy's almost dead. <laughs> if you have someone who doesn't know like anything about Diablo, you can just tell them this is Diablo. <laughs> All right. Um, orbs, ring blades. Give me the ring blade. Yeah, arcade splitter. Pickup range? No, dragon's breath. Yeah, early access. Too bad it's not done. You know, you always want to. You know, if you're gonna spend a ton of time in the game, you want it to be done. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It's good as it is right now. For now. Ten minutes. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll get there. What did I pick up? Whoa! Okay, that's amazing. Give me the dragon's breath. Uh, base health. Dragon's breath. Dude, so much leveling here. Attack speed. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh my god, freaking dragon breath. You saw that? That was... Man, things loading fast. So every four to fifth one, it's like a doubler. Like it, I think that one was the doubler right there. Man, the cone. Give me more. Yeah, this one, right? More range and ability. That I think that 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 spell is absolutely carrying me right now. Without that, I think I would have died. Oh hell no! What are these dogs? Smiley face. Snagging now. Don't want to take the chance of price going up. Yeah. I think they said in their um, like on their early access notice there, they they might increase it. Damn. Oh my god. Alright, be cool. I need to heal. Let's, let's see if there's any items over here. There's some health. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, what does this do? 100% damage temporary. Alright, alright. Focus, focus, focus. I gotta follow my fire. That's, that's the easiest way to get around. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'm running back so I can pick up everything I missed. Follow the fire. Nice. Plus two piercing. Oh my god. That's really good. That's so good. Now we pierce up to six enemies instead of four with our arrows. Go down, go down, go down. Eight minutes left. Too many Steam games, I feel you. At least we're not humble bundling anymore, right? Jesus. I, I, I think they're still doing weekly bundles. 
buying them like hundreds of those games and never playing any. Sometimes they're good. Oh my god, look at all this crap. And a lot of pretty much almost every game I play, like if it's unless it's super triple A, uh, I'll, I'll grab a pickup. A lot of them are like review copies of stuff, right? Like this game's a review copy. Uh, but like, like Street Fighter and stuff. Oh, damn, it's Capcom, right? Oh, I should. No, I purchased it. Oh, I should have checked if I could have asked for a key. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Cause like I, I I usually get Capcom games. I didn't I why didn't I think about that? Shit. Oh, I could probably still ask one for my friend. I got the digital deluxe. Fuck fuck okay, oh, wait. Alright, alright, cool. Look at the fire! Oh I love this ability. I'm okay. Gotta run in one direction now. I think I'm being attacked by a yeah, a boss. This boss killed me last time. Alright, all right. Gotta focus. Okay, so far so good. Where the boost at? Regen? Cone size. Give me the regen. It's not a big regen buff, but if it lets me uh, tank like one or two more hits, uh, I'm happy. Those skeletons are gross, man. Once you kill them, they they turn into a projectile. Ooh. Oh my god, what is happening right now? I don't even know where the boss is right now. Chill. I got cheese. <gasps> Clog. Where's the boost? Almost dead. Okay, ten percent damage is very high at this stage. No, I can take like maybe three hits. I have no defense. Oh look, the enemies kind of stopped. Out of my way! Got him. Defeat the lich. Oh no 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 no! Give me the items. Kill me after that. Uh, damage for missing health. 10% crit chance base. Are you kidding me? Give me that. Oh my god. I need health. Five minutes. Is there going to be another boss? I thought it would be Star Wars 1 in one month. Oh, this, oh, I forgot that game came out. I feel like everyone just moves on like really quick from it. Like they beat it and like left it. Yeah, but Zelda... I really thought I was going to play much more Zelda than I have, but for some reason I just can't sit down and binge it for like 10 hours. The most I can do is around 3 hours, the most, and then I'll be like, okay, let's take a little break. But every time I play it, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I still haven't put my review up of the game. It's like a couple weeks later, so I, I'm still going to put it up for archival reasons, but like I think the, the longer... It takes me to put it out. Uh, hold on. It just gives me more time to play it and, and refine my opinion of it, which is a good thing. But then at the same time, you want it out as early as possible. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad I didn't rush that one. Because I, there's like some, absolutely some things I would say that I wouldn't say like two weeks ago concerning the game. It's all good. It's all positive. Oh my god. Zelda, Big Sleep with the Wild, similar touch. Yeah. Uh, two defense, two ability. Give me this. Imagine people who 100% in the first game. They're addicted to this one too, probably. You think duration works on my fire? I don't know. Oh, maybe I should have been upgrading that. Oh man, if it does, that's kind of crazy. I follow uh, like the Breath of the Wild. Well, I, get, I keep getting recommended Reddit posts of Breath of the Wild, and then some guys like, "Yeah, I'm about to 100% the game, but I'm missing a Korok. Anyone have any ideas of where the last one is?" And then some guys like, "Oh man, it, it might be the Korok that's hiding under a stick." <laughs> and then everyone's like, "Yeah, that's probably the one." And then I read more into it, and they're like, "Yeah, it's in the first game. It's the only Korok in the game, and it's under a stick." 
which is so stupid. <laughs> it's, that's so troll, man. Okay, focus. I bet there's like some crap like that in this game too. Doo -doo -doo. What's up, Waba? Yeah. Oh God. Uh, Steam pre-purchase for Ratchet Clank Rift. Ooh. Yeah, that was an interesting PS5 exclusive. Unfortunately, I only played like three hours of that. I liked it, but I don't know. I only did three hours of that one, but it was it was good. Like it's it's worth it. Like if you're definitely a Ratchet and Clank fan, I, I I'm not, but I played it because it was new and it was uh, exclusive. This, this this one should be good in general. I think it's worth the money if you are a fan of the series for sure. It's just very it's a very beautiful game. The graphics are great. Gameplay's fun too. The gun variety. The only Ratchet and Clank I played. Well, I didn't even play it. I was watching my friend play it. We, we were uh, doing a series. Uh, we were doing a Let's Play series. And uh, I was just commenting uh, commentating with him. He was playing it primarily. But that was it looked good. I forgot which one it was. Maybe it was the first one. That was like six years ago. I think we might win. More slime rewards? I mean, what do you uh, suggest? I don't know what to do with slimes. That's a big money bag right there. Okay, okay, I gotta focus. It's two minutes left. Hold on, focusing, hardcore focusing. I don't need to level up. Just need to survive. Ten thousand damage in total. Focus. You want to win? I do want to win. Ah. Oh man, look at the spread damage on the fire. Okay, the easiest way to survive. Oh my god, look at this. It's to run in one direction. Don't let them uh, gang up on you. I think we're just going to do that. Survive until two minutes. Yeah, we're just going to go in one direction. Following the flame. Oh my god, here they come. And this game has a much better performance, right? Than uh, Vampire Survivors. Yeah, yeah, actually, is the... Is, is the... Is the stream fuzzy for you? Is the bitrate fine? Well, we're not completely filled up on the screen, but... Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. One minute left. The stream looks great. Thanks, homie. Follow the fire. Follow the fire. The money bag. Oh god, what have I done? Just survive. Just survive. And come on. So oh, shit. Which which run is this? Like my fifth run? Sixth run? Nice. Ooh. What did I pick up? Wow, okay. What level am I? Level 50? Chill. Attack speed. 30 seconds. Let's go. I hope that there's more uh, challenge in this game. Like more like ascensions, so to speak. And because I'm just going to keep getting stronger and stronger with all my upgrades. And if it stays the same difficulty, then that's going to kind of suck. I hope there's more. Ten seconds left. No, oh, no, no, no. Okay, be cool. Yeah, I got it. Oh, uh, oh, what? It's a boss. It's a final boss. I have one hit left. What's that? What the hell? What's that? Thirty seconds. I have. To... Is it telling me I have thirty seconds to kill him? Because I don't have the DPS for this. Ah. Uh... Your controller. Yeah, I don't have the deeps. Am I gonna get hit or is it a you think it's a one shot? Oh there's Oh Whoa 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 be cool. This is cool. I like how there's a final boss. Oh I don't have no I can't even get him to half health. Come on, homie. I'm 
dead. You need DPS? Yeah, that's so mean. I gotta pay to win? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. We got a lot of completed quests, though. Alright, this game's cool. Let's go again. <gasps> What's that? Is that a new hero? We got a new 